So the technique's going to look like this. James has got the underhook. So the key points for this one, the first thing, what we're going to do is as soon as James hit the underhook, I need to make sure that he's not turning. So I'm going to step, I'm going to base out of my hand, I'm going to start to slide my hip through and sit on his shoulder. And I use this leg to come all the way over the top and start to turn. Just to help me out, I pull his knee down to the ground. From there I can slide this hand through and again work it up and then push through up my bottom leg. Okay, so. So again, we're here, get the underhook, step, sit high on his shoulder, and start to pull off to the side. Okay, now search for that underhook, shooting it through, pull it past. Step on his bottom leg, free up my foot, and then come back to side control, or again, to the north side position. This one's related to the camera. Here, sit on his shoulder, the leg comes through and catches me, work it around to the side. So here my chest is down, I'm kind of facing towards him. From there I'm going to search for this underhook, slide it through and I make sure that I stay heavy. So my weight's down on his chest, push on his knee, step on his bottom leg, pull my foot free. And from there, just close up to the shoulder before I can step over and start going to the mouth. So the real key transitions in this one are not waiting when he gets his position. So as soon as he goes there, I'm trying to step, catch his leg. Okay, so again, I start with my knee inside, then when I go, I step back out. Okay. Start with my knee in between his legs, face out, slide, and catch. Then in the second one, it's similar to what we did before, it's just getting used to this position of kicking and then dropping. Yeah. Pick it out, drop it down. Pick it out, drop it down. So, the whole technique, one more time. Yeah. A back step over, catch his knee, slide to the under. 